Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Atomic Shop as today is a reset. Plus, we got the new DLC update. Can't wait to play that. By the way, I am gonna stream that. So if you wanna join the live stream, it's gonna be done on Twitch. The link is down in the video description. But spoiler alert: I will be doing the main uh, quest line, the new quest lines with the DLC. And uh, today, I'll be playing solo. Uh, once I'm done with that line, then I'll be speedrunning Season 5. So in Season 5, once I'll do the speedruns, that's where I'm going to play with you guys. And the rules are um, old, so basically who joins the private world gets to play. <laughs> sort of in that area. Alright, but anyway, let's take a look at the Atomic Shop. The uh, daily weekly challenges for Season 5. Uh, see what we got to do. I mean, see what we got to do and to make some score and so on and so forth. So let's not waste some time jump right into it. <laughs> Alright, so first things first, let's go with the Atomic Shop. Kept my first impression, let's see what's up. Bam! Oh, we also got some got Fallout first. Uh, let's take a look at Fallout first and uh, abandon Ma. Hello, more shelters, huh? Okay, uh, Fallout first, let's take a look at that. I really hope that they have returned the uh, these outfits, because there was a rumor going that they should be up, but... Okay, so for follow first, we got the Mr. Fuzzy Flare. <laughs> okay, and uh, that's it. Oh well, I'll take it. And uh, yeah, I do not know if these things have returned. I uh, haven't seen the patch notes because they are always late. What the hell? Oh, right. All right, I read that on the patch notes when we the servers were down. Uh, we got the camp slots and special loadouts. So if you will need extra slots, you can buy that for 500. That's for the special and 1,000 for the camp, which I'm not gonna get. I don't don't want. So then we got the Brotherhood bundle. Ooh, too too interesting. What's up with that? Okay. Oh, did they make the uh, descriptions a little bit better? <laughs> All right, so we got includes Brotherhood high tech stash box. E I assume this thing. Definitely not this. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel head rubs. Maybe that's a uh, head rubs. Is this thing right here? Okay, whatever. Brotherhood of Steel armory. I believe this is the thing that we're looking at. By the way, with combination of that Brotherhood of Steel bunker that we got from, I don't remember which season, actually could look pretty good. Plus the Brotherhood, that big tower. So we got three different buildings. Hmm, maybe I should build myself a new camp. <laughs> Alright, and uh, Steel Ray Power Arm Paint. There we go. I don't know, man. By the way, we got the next tab. Boom, there we go. And okay, you can actually buy these things individually. I might go ahead and buy this thing individually. High tech stash box. High tech stash box. So I assume this is a stash box, and I assume once you interact with it, it kind of like pops, like according to the screenshot. Interesting. So if I buy these two things individually, then yeah. The paint on its own, 1,200? Come on, give me a break. And that, I don't know, I, I don't look like, and according by the screenshot, you can already see that if your head is small, right, it kind of like going to be like that, oh, like extra space over here, that's what I'm seeing here. And definitely that's not something I would spend 250 items on. But the bundle, man, okay, 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 well, I think I'm just going to get these things individually. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. All right, 4th of July, this thing we've covered last week. Uh, this thing, uh, Voltec Calling. By the way, have in mind that some of the, uh, some old bundles and stuff like that are not here on this video, but I highly encourage you to check your own item shop as well. Uh, the thing is, I might already own something, and that's why you, you don't see it on my screen, because I already have it. 
And look at this, uh, vending machines on sale. Cool. I'm actually gonna grab this one right here. And I'm actually gonna grab this one right here too. Uh, I like collecting st vendor bots, plus I think if I'll ever decide to get into camp building, I'll definitely need different stashes, but so far, by far, this is my favorite one, and the one we got, the Red Rocket one from Seasons, is also really nice. Alright, so mass display, I already covered that, it's actually pretty dope, uh, if you want to watch it, uh, re watch the review video, I've covered there uh, about it a lot. Then we got the shop billboard set and vendor signs as well. Well, there are, to be honest, I never use them, <laughs> to be honest. I've seen them in camps, they're like, all right, but man, I don't know, I just, I just couldn't fit them in into my thing. I tried to use the billboard set a couple of times, I did use them for the outside, but man, it's still taking up space, and I kind of like, man, whatever. Although, I like the clean one. There's a clean version, which is sold uh, separately. It's like this one, but without the camp, you can trust. But I have it too. Anyway, so that's here. Then we got this special. Ooh, Brotherhood Flare. Free. <laughs> What's up? Finally, we get something good, man. I, I think this is the best flare in the game. <laughs> it's a coin. None of that, you know, mini, mini flare, like plushies or humans or whatever we've. Uh, also unlocked in the previous. I like coins. I think I'm just gonna run with two coins, man. I want to get more coins. Coins is a good idea, but does that deliver more coins? All right. So when we got free uh, trial fireworks, as uh, this thing you kind of like throw as a grenade and then go poof, blows up, and everybody's happy. All right. Uh, Raider Volt Boy set. So it's um, uh, well these head awares, the big ones. Uh, actually, you know what? I wonder, can you actually display those on the display case? Those uh, mask display case. That would be cool. If that would be the case, then maybe I would buy it. But that's the, here's an idea for you. If you're selling something like this, get a new section over there saying somewhere can be displayed on X thing. That would be really nice. I would just buy them just to display on those things, but that's it. I would not wear this myself personally. I guess I'm, I don't know. I don't like these things. It's just big head. And was not my thing. Yeah, gas mask. Maybe this is fall off first thing, so be careful. Uh, I mean, if you will not see it on yours, that means this is a fall off first thing uh, return. So if you're a fall off first, then you'll uh, essentially have a discount and you'll be able to buy that thing. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Once again, make sure to uh, scroll this on your own, and I also recommend uh, to scroll through the appeal section, the skin section, camp section, uh, because sometimes they do return some alt stuff, and it is not included in the feature list. Uh, like, thanks to you guys, I haven't missed out on that Fallout 76 cap. The very first one with the Fallout 76, th this is the one I was talking about. I really wanted it, and uh, it returned, I think it was last week. And if it wasn't for your comments, because I read your comments, I would not know about this. And I would be really pissed off if I missed it. Because I actually, this is my favorite cap. So once again, I do not remember the username of the person, but... I know it was a Z Clan member. <laughs> so once again, thank you because he only knew about it because I've been talking about it a lot. Anyway, so that's pretty much it. Let's get into the challenges. So for the challenges we got for the dailies, we got complete daily operation, okay. Uh, complete an event, okay. Gold star complete five, okay. Kill a creature twenty-five times, okay. Kill a legendary enemy, okay. Level up. Uh, Use nuclear winter. I thought this thing was gonna get down. When are they when are they uh, taking down the winter? Hmm. Maybe I got time to skyrocket myself to rank 100 after all. Because I'm like 80 something. So maybe once I'm done with season five, I'll uh, do some live streams on nuclear winter. Uh, okay. So visit your shelter. Okay. Uh, that's all pretty all simple. How the hell? Hey, auto complete, man. Okay, uh, visit your own shelter. Let's do that, and uh, let's see how much atoms we're gonna get because it looks like uh, we got uh, auto complete bug. Although I, I didn't play Nuclear Winter. <laughs> Boom. Or maybe they're gonna fix it. I don't know. 
So, that's a bad start, man. The hell just happened? Wait, us character, my bad. Yeah, so visit your shelter. I didn't get the 1000 score, I only got 250. Great. So, already straight off the bat, we're missing out on. Four and a half thousand score, man. That's some good ranks over there. Oh well, man. Oh well. Kill legendary enemy. Tw I haven't even played. What do you mean? This thing lives its own life or what? Com I haven't even done a daily operation. Wow. Okay. Well. No comment, man. W did you have this? Comment down below. This is crazy, man. Tesla, we demand a a double uh, double XP event now for this. We're losing, so come on, let's go. Double XP, turn it up. Let's go. <laughs> it would be real nice if we get a double XP event right now. Anyway, uh, so that's that. Oh wait, well, weekly do your daily operations. Ten events, kill five different huge creatures, kill twelve legendary enemies, level up three times, repeatable. Build stuff, do that at the workshop, my recommendation, caps, uh, complete uh, daily challenges, which are apparently auto-completed, and visit your shelter, which I just did, and I did not get credit for it. I am disappointed. Oh, there you go. Check in with Russell. Cool. I'm going to get down the stream done. All right, so I think I have nothing else to say. Oh, by the way, I want to check something real fast. I heard the limitations changed. So now we can have up to 40k caps. We can save up up to 5000 script on a character and we can script uh with a not 150 but 300 limit. Uh I think someone said maybe the vendors have changed as well. Let's check that out real quick. No, vendors did not change over there. Oh, okay. Uh we can also submit more gold bullion and uh keep more gold bullion um, like on us so previously it was 200 per day now it should be 400 oh. then it was 5,000 that and we can't carry anymore and look at that these guys are trying to attack my camp like my, my camp is too high <laughs> what's up they can get into my camp boy get out of here mm, I still haven't fixed this thing to have the ability to fast travel to my camp with one click I always spawn on top, and for some reason I started spawning here, although my previous spawn point was the best, but not now, apparently. Alright, so uh, Z-Clan and everybody else, this is where I'm going to be calling it the end for this video, so if you enjoyed it, you know the drill. Do not forget to leave that like, comment down below, please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube, nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them, so if you got something to say, as I said, comment down below. Just don't swear and people will be able to read your comments, negative, positive, whichever. Just don't swear. If you're new and subscribe, welcome to ZClan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching. If you want to join our Discord, the link is down in the, in the video description. If you want to join my live stream, the link is down in the video description. And I'll see you later. Bye. From the ashes we rose.